All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay. So today I'm just going to be talking. It's been a while since I posted. Um, I've been doing a little bit of traveling with the uh, GMC Sierra, the 5.3. Now, my journey started uh, with, um, with GM Trucks uh, with the Colorado. Colorado was great on gas, great truck overall. But it just uh, it be it was too small for size, and I realized I, I need to get a full size truck. So, going to a full size truck, first one I got was the double cab. Um, had to get rid of that. Just didn't want to deal with the double cab anymore. And then my journey officially started with GMC products. I liked the Colorado, the Chevy truck, and I also liked the Silverado. So, um, but the GMC versions of those of these vehicles on that platform cost more. Uh, and, um, you know, they're just, they're, they're considered a tier up from, from Chevy, from, from basically what I'm, I'm learning here from, from you guys and several other people. Uh, and I knew that myself too. And then Cadillac is above GMC. Uh, but you know, my experience with my first GMC truck was a Duramax. Oh my God. I love the engine so much. Um, but the truck itself fell apart and I ended up, um, I ended up uh, having to do a buyback with, with GM. They bought it back. They let me build what I wanted. Uh, and unfortunately, I was so tainted by the views, uh, my, my, my perspective on the, 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 the Duramax coupled with the, the new radio and the exhaust problems that I was having on my Duramax uh, GMC Sierra 1500. The, the exhaust problems and electrical problems just kind of overshadowed how great that truck was. Uh, that, that truck was obviously a dud. Like I said, GM bought it back uh, and I built the Sierra that was parked out there uh, and I went to a 5.3. Now, I like to give progress reports and there's a reason why. I haven't posted in probably two weeks because I've been doing a lot of out of time, out of time driving uh, with the truck. So I originally posted my fuel economy on the 5.3. It does not compare to the to the uh, to the Duramax in, 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 at all. The Duramax gave me 25 around town, sometimes 28 around town, and on the highway was getting well over 30. It's documented. You see it on the channel. Uh, but you know, again, my tainted view of that experience. <clears throat> I think you guys sometimes forget that people are human, and so when you have a bad experience, sometimes it, it can it can overweigh you sometimes. And with me, I was just so skeptical about uh, getting a Duramax again. I built the same truck just with the with the 53 and a lot more options. Now, the new infotainment center in the in the uh the new trucks um after having two trucks with that infotainment center, I can honestly say I am not impressed. Uh the the Bose system was it's okay. I have the I have the I think a 15 speaker Bose system in my Cadillac and then the Camaro has a 6 or a 8. Uh, I think it has a, a four or a six speaker in the Camaro. I'm not sure. I think it's six. But the Bose system in both of those vehicles are off the charts. Now, the Bose system in the truck, it's good, not great. But when it comes to the infotainment center itself, the experience that I get in my Camaro, the tried and true infotainment center three, and then in the Cadillac is another one of the infotainment centers, just way more intuitive. And it's just easy to understand. Um, in comparison to the new radios and the new GMC seasons in Silverados, um, the, the new radio is way too clunky. So after I, I put about 2,900 miles on the truck and uh, basically 3,000 uh, and out of town driving, you know, radio doing everything. And I've come to this conclusion. I don't like the infotainment center. And the fuel economy, I was spoiled with the, first of all, I had a 2.7 liter turbo, uh, the first generation, the one with 277 horsepower uh, and whatever the torque was on that on that turbo on the Silverado that I had. And that one was actually fantastic on fuel. I was getting 500 per tank almost. On this 5.3 uh, and on the Duramax, I was getting 650. So clearly the Duramax and the, the four liter turbo uh, is better on gas. But I wanted to try the 5.3, was going to get the 6.2, but opted not to because I didn't want a SLT version or I didn't want to go up to, you know, Denali and Elevation or whatever. But um, the 5.3, uh, the 5.3 is okay on gas now that it's settling in. 
My initial numbers around town, 20, 22, sometimes once 22, but just casual driving around town, 19 to 20, 18 to 20, easy. I mean, real easy. And um, a lot of you guys said, man, I'm only getting 15. And I said, wow, their, their numbers are a lot lower than mine. But the more and more, you know, if you don't know me, I'm a pretty straight shooter, honest guy. Um, I don't I don't acknowledge the people who come to the channel and talk trash in the comments. So I just don't acknowledge that. But I, I don't have to post this video. But since I'm a stand-up type guy, I'm doing it. And the 5-3, now that mine is broken in a little bit more than it was when I was doing those initial numbers, 3,000 miles, my, my mileage has gotten worse. And I now spend more time at the pump. Like, I took a trip from Austin to Colleen, Colleen, Texas. I went from Austin to Colleen, Texas on a full tank. Then I went from Colleen, this is all in the same day. Then I went to, uh, and now mind you, I've taken this trip in the Turbo Silverado, the Colorado, which was a 3.6 liter. And then also I've taken it in the Duramax, obviously. This is a trip that I frequently take. So finally, it was a it was a, it was time to do it in the 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 five point three Sierra. Full tank of gas. I went from Austin to North Austin to Colleen, Texas, about forty five minutes to an hour. Full tank of gas. Now, I don't have a heavy foot. Remember, um, not a windy day. Nice, beautiful day out. Uh, Seventy five, sunny, cruising, very nice. Get to Colleen, do what I need to do. Then I keep driving, head over to Temple. Uh, and then, you know, get to Temple, hang out for a little bit, for at least an hour or so or more there. I, mean, I was only in, in Colleen for maybe, my stop there is always about 20 to 30 minutes, maybe, maybe an hour. But this time it was only like 20 minutes, if that. Then went straight to, to Temple, Texas, right? And then that's about, now from Austin to to to. To Colleen, it's about 45 minutes, depending on which way you go, but it's about 45 minutes to an hour, right? Now, from Colleen to Temple, Texas, it's only like 15, 20 minutes. With traffic, maybe 25, you know what I'm saying? So, circle that up, right? Remember, I was on a full tank of gas when I left Austin. Um, now, I get to Colleen, I get to Temple, hang out for an hour, so truck's cooled off now, whatever, if, if you want to call it cool. It's, it's been sitting for an hour, hour and a half, or whatever. Get in Temple, go eat dinner, then go get some dessert some other places. Well, roughly, you know, around town, driving for maybe 20 minutes, maybe. Then leave Temple, come back to Austin, right? How much gas do you think I had? I'm going to tell you right now. That's, that's, a, that's a rhetorical question. I was down to just under a quarter tank of gas. I, I, I just don't get it. And I've made this trip several times, and I don't like it. Um, I don't like the fuel economy on the 5.3. Uh, it's 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 become really bad. On a fill up, I might get 350 to the tank. The most I've gotten is 420, I think it is. But that was based on that one day or that one week where I did all highway driving. So I look at my numbers versus what some people were reporting initially, and now I'm there with you. The 5.3 is a good strong engine, but when you that thing drinks gas like no, my Camaro, son. My Camaro, I, I've been daily driving my Camaro around town um, for the last week or so because the weather's been sunny so I could drop the top or whatever. And, and, and on the Camaro around town, I'm getting 17 to 19. You know, I, I've, I drove the Camaro, I filled up the Camaro and I drove it all week pretty much to do all my running around town. And I still, from a full tank after a week, of driving, I mean, a lot of driving. So I have a tank, and I was getting like 18 to 19 miles to the gallon. Now I know the Camaro is light, lighter or whatever, and it does a 6.2, but it does drop to four cylinders. But the 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 truck is the same way. It's just a 5.3, but the gas mileage. You know, I know it weighs more, or whatever. But the gas mileage, the truck is actually my daily driver. She daily drives the Cadillac. So this is this is bad news because my experience with GMC or, you know, General Motors products went downhill with that Duramax. Um, it, it, it teetered off at that point because the Colorado, the Chevy trucks, I loved both of them. The Chevy trucks, boss mode, beast. 
Um, the Colorado, like I said, was good. The Silverado was great. Silverado, after a while, again, I just remember I needed to get that crew guy for our longer trips. But other than that, man, um, I haven't had the best experience with fuel economy with my 5.3. <laughs> it's, it's just not been, I'm not feeling it. So the difference between me, now some some people, I'm not the only one that'll do this. A lot of people on the channel say, oh man, you don't, you're not going to keep it very long. You're not going to keep it very long. You trade out of cars all the time. You sell cars. You're wasting time. You're wasting your money. Let me check the box on some of those things that are people that are just quick to jump in the comments and say that. My credit, A+. plus. My income, okay, A+. plus. But my experience with these trucks, these last two, not so great. Um, so decision-making, here's why I say I'm probably different from a lot of people. These are just things, tools that I use to move about. And so I'm looking for the best experience. You should be too. So on the trucks, the Colorado. Back at the time when I bought that Colorado, remember I bought it fully loaded with leather, nav, everything. It was a Z71, uh, whatever it is, you know, the, the highest, one of the highest trims you can get for um, the Colorado. And so many people were shocked that I paid 32,000 for that truck. Like, at the time, when I bought that at the end of 2020, you know, times were tough. They wanted a sale. I negotiated, got it for 32. Uh, then sold it private party. I try to avoid selling to a trading to a dealer because dealers try to rip you off on a trade. So sold the Colorado private party, got 34 for it, right? Got $34,500. That's what I got for the truck. Then I took that money and put it towards the Silverado, which is what I got for 36,000. I've told you this story too. Got that for 36. When I needed to get rid of that, sold their private party, got 36. Now, mind you, I don't I don't put money down on, on vehicles, you know, not because I'm not going to keep them. Uh, I had a buddy of mine ask me, man, you know me, why don't you lease? I'm like, because I don't have any intentions on um, selling or ch changing up like this. But if something happens, folks, I, I would say I'm doing what's called living. There's a lot of people that say, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do that. And I think they might just be thinking of what they should be doing. Because if you haven't figured it out by now, I'm, I'm fairly patient. I'll take your advice as long as you come correct with some um, with, with some, some actual feedback uh, and not just a bunch of slanders and name calling, childish stuff like that. I'll take your advice. I'm open to it. I think I've shown you that by now if you're watching me. Um, I'm open to your feedback. Uh, but... Uh, what I won't do is settle, all right? Now, the truck that's out there selling for 68, right? The truck is selling for 68. My truck that I way I ordered, it, it sells for 68. They pretty much have those on a lot now, 68. But it's truck month. I mean, I didn't pay 68 before taxes, remember? I got that mug for like 12,000 off or something like that. I forgot what it was. I got it for a lot lower than 68, so I'm in the black. I'm not worried about it. Uh, I've been in the black pretty much for every transaction I've done. I've never lost money uh, on any of these transactions. I know you guys worry about that, um, but uh, my interest rates have always been good. Three, two, three, four. Four was the highest one I've gotten um, because it, the interest rate depends on what the market is doing. You know what I mean? So this is where I'm at. So I've never lost money um, and I didn't pay 68,000 plus tax for that vehicle out there. Uh, and I think I'm pretty much over it. Uh, I, I, I went back. I told you a story on the last video that I did. I actually went back to get another Duramax. And the check engine light was on, on the lot, folks. And I said, that's a clear indication. I need to stay away from the Duramax for some, <laughs> for some reason. But I actually am going to get another Duramax. But you heard me talk about per tank and around town. So I've been so disappointed with my 5.3. I've been driving my 6.2 Camaro, my LT1 Camaro, just driving, driving it to run all my errands. I filled up or I got gas and fuel pretty much with that 5.3 when I was driving it from, from 1,000 miles to 2,000 miles. Pretty much was filling up. I didn't pay a lot at the pump, but I was at the pump. So 
I remember one time I filled up twice in the same week. And I'm like, what the frick is going on? Like, this truck is horrible on gas. And I don't have a heavy foot. But that was in the early state. That was before the 2000 mark. Because I think the last follow-up I did was at 2000. Well, now the truck's 3,000 miles or whatever. Um, so I'm disappointed to say the least. But I'm checking these boxes and telling you this because I know people are going to say, oh, you're taking an L. You know, you should just get a Tundra. I'm not buying a freaking Toyota truck. I may be having all these issues or, or having a bad experience overall. But like I said, this is just stuff. That's how I treat it. I'm not attached to anything. With that being said, that truck has to go. Now, which direction should I go? I think I'm going to go back to my original um, good experience because I'm not going to the 6.2. I'm not going to the Duramax right now. Duramax people are mad at me for some reason. It's just stuff, folks. You got to get out of your feelings and, and let another person have their experience. That's what you guys forget. This is just my experience. I had a guy say in the comments, I really wish you would stop trashing the Duramax. Wow, son, you you that, you that connected to this stuff. Like, it's just stuff. Are you a stockholder? I, I have stock. If you're not a stockholder or, or anything, if you, if you don't have anything seriously invested with these companies, Gotta quit being so attached to this stuff. Cause at your funeral, none of this stuff is gonna matter. And I, I know that's kind of deep, but it's the truth. Like this is just stuff. So my advice to people sometimes is, well, how do you do this? How do you do this? It's not that I intentionally want to switch vehicles. That's totally not the case. Um, but I, I'm I'm blessed enough to be to get these low interest rates for five years or whatever, uh, you know, and I can afford to pay it, you know what I'm saying, if I don't decide to cash out. Um the reason I'm not cashing out on a vehicle right now is because of stuff like this. Like, I want to get that vehicle, and I'm going to use my, my, my good credit. I'm going to use the bank's money, the credit union's money. Why not? They use us all the time. So you just got to know how to play the game. So right now, it's truck season. So that means it's time to get a new truck. Now, the direction that I'm going to go, I want to go Duramax, but after that last experience... Son, I'm telling you, I'm I'm not doing that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I can't do it. I don't want to, I don't want to take that that chance. And um I just don't want to, it's it's not even about money or cost. Or, that ain't nothing to do. It's just I had such a bad experience. And then my second rotation to go get another. I actually was getting ready to pull the trick. In that last video, when I said I almost bought a I was straight serious. I even shot a whole bunch of footage in the truck, but I opted not to post it. Um Cause like I said, my partner worked at that. He ain't my partner, but he's just, he's a really nice salesperson that works there. And I, I worked with him a couple of times. And so I'm not going to put him on blast or put that dealer on blast because they are not making the trucks. They're not making the trucks. GM is making the products. So, I mean, but that was my experience. Now my sister has had a, a 5.3 in her suburban, but it's a 19, it's, she's had it for 20 years. She bought it brand new, she had it for 21 years. And hers is running like a champ. She gets decent fuel economy, but it still works with almost 300,000 miles on it. So while the engine may be strong or whatever, and this is a newer gen that I got, obviously. She got a Vortec in there. So, But nonetheless, I'm making a choice here to ditch this 5.3. Now, the reason I'm, I don't care too much is because, again, I'm in the black. So uh, I know my credit score or whatever. Um... Uh, everything is, I could just walk on the lot and just say, Hey, I'm ready to sell this. I know the truck is worth some money or whatever. Now, the last time I looked, the truck, my truck was selling for 62, um, because they were having some sales, but I'm going to show you right now, if I can, uh, I'm going to go to the, to the dealer where I bought mine. Just doing this real time real briefly for you. So they're having truck month still, looks like. Yeah, they're having truck month. Now I'm going to go to, yeah, they're having truck months. And so the vehicles, the vehicles are on sale, folks. I'm telling you, it, this doesn't bother me too much because I didn't pay the full, I didn't pay that 68 for mine. And they're selling my truck pretty much for a much lower cost. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to year. Okay, they got they got a bunch of 22s, but I'm going to go to 23. Uh, and I'm going to go to GMC. And I'm going to go to 1500 And they got 69 on the lot right now. And they're not selling them as much probably uh, because 
Uh, let's see. Let's let's filter some more. I'm gonna filter some more, and I'm gonna add I'm gonna add the trim here, and I'm gonna do elevation. Here we go. This separates it out. So there's 17 elevations on the lot. Now my current truck is selling for roughly. Let me find one that's exactly as mine. Okay, here's one that's 16. Oh, so the price is over. Okay, so it looks like some are on sale. No, nope, that that price is done. There, nope, that sale is over. So my truck, I, um, they're selling a lot of them for 69, 68, um, 70, 70. They got these prices marked way up. And I'm glad that, I mean, you can see some of the stuff there. I'm glad that um, that I, I'm not in this realm right here of buying the buying market because there's no way I would, I would buy one of these for this price. So my experience with the GMC trucks, it's not been good, folks. It's not good. Um, let me make sure I'm in the right city because this doesn't look like, let me see. That's them some high prices right there. Let me see GMC. Okay. Okay, I, I think I was in the wrong one. That's high. I'm not saying they're doing truck month where I'm at. Okay, so here we go. Let me see if this is the right one. Because that, that was kind of high, man. I was like, man. All right, let's go website. Okay, yeah, uh, I think that was it. No, here we go. Yeah, they're doing. Okay, here we go. Yeah, they're doing truck. That was that was in another. That was in another city. Okay, yeah. Okay, good. Let's. I was about to say, man, that's crazy. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna hurry up, folks. I'm gonna hurry up. I know. I want. I want to show you this. Uh, because I want you to see that they're having truck month here where I'm at, and um, they've got them on sale. Man, they're definitely not doing truck month. Wherever city I was in with that one. All right, so. They've got a lot of these on sale. Let me find the equivalent of what I bought, and I'll show you all the discounts that are on it right now. Because they have mine marked down pretty low, from what I can tell. Well, they had a lot off of it. And so let me go filter one more time. I know, I know, just bear with me. So they only have three elevations on the lot right now. And all of them, okay, so truck month is over, I guess. They were selling these, okay, their truck month is over. This is probably the closest I can get to mine. But they were having truck month, and um, they were knocking down my truck to 68, on, or to 62. So it was taking some bread off, about six grand off. So I was a little perturbed about that, but I thought, you know what, I didn't pay 62. I paid like 58 or something like that. So I got it for, you know, 10, 11,000 off or whatever, but that's fine. So where I'm going right now, um, I think I'm going to go back to, because my turbo, my 2.7 liter turbo that I had was great on gas, but now it's a new turbo. There's a new turbo out. There's a new version with 310 horsepower and 430 foot pounds of torque. Now I've seen great things about this engine. And I've also seen all the people out there, oh my God, don't buy a four-cylinder truck, yada, yada, whatever. It's my daily driver, and I need a big truck, a big vehicle for doing all the things that I do. So I'm going to go to the new 2.7 liter turbo, uh, which I know is going to be much more fuel efficient than the 5.3 and the 6.2, uh, but not as efficient as the Duramax. But we shall see, because I got great gas mileage on the other one. I remember report, reporting like 450 a tank minimum. On the other one, I believe. And the fuel economy was great. So that is where I'm at, man. Bye-bye to the 5.3. I'll be able to sell this truck off. Walk in again, no money down. And um, get what I want. Just like that. So long story short, deuces to the 5.3. Can't do it. Uh, that fuel economy is probably not going to get any better. And you guys who said, Jay, my fuel economy around town is like 13. I'm barely getting 13 to 15. You guys were right, so my respect. I will not be like you guys, though, and keep the truck. <laughs> and this is, again, this is just stuff, so I'm out. Going to be popping up with something new. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna get the new 2.7 liter, so you stay locked. It's your man, Jay. See you in the next one. Hope you enjoy story time. Take care.